So, hey there YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create basic 3D animation in After Effects. So the final project looks something like this. It's an easy animation to do, it's fast, so you should have no problems to do this. Now, the first thing you want to do is to create a new composition. So just press Ctrl N or go to Composition new composition. Rename it to 3D letters. Make duration to 2 seconds. I'll leave it like this but you can change it to 2 seconds. Full resolution and press OK. Now we want to create a text so go to layer new text and write anything you want. Now select the text by pressing Control return now like this now press control return and press this little button here just click V press V and scale it like this a little bit less this okay now you want to add a background so go to composition new composition rename it to background and same duration, same resolution, equal to the last one. So now you want to import uh, an image to your background, like a wall or something. So go to File, Import, Import File. I have this image here. You can find this image if you search for wall textures in Google. Scale it like this. Now select the background composition and drag it to this button here so it will create a new composition okay now it created this composition name it background 2 now what you need to do is to select the 3d letters one and drag background composition to the 3d letters so drag it down here and now press F4 to bring down the mode menu and in the background to select the multiply option now let's add some effects to the text layer select it now go to effect stylize glow make the glow threshold to 45 and leave it like that now go to le effects, um, blur and sharpen, CC radial fast blur. Now amount, change it to 25, and click in this little stopwatch here. Keyframe it, keyframe the center uh, as the in the first frame. You want the center to be in the left side of the text, and in the last frame you want it to be in the right side of the text so it should look like this yeah seems good now you want to add a light to this so press F4 again so you can hide it the mode menu now click in the squares here and that will turn this layers into 3D layers. Now we can add light and camera. So go to layer, new, light. Press OK, standard options, and drag the light up here. Now let's create a camera. Go, no, first um, we need to, we want the text to cast shadows. So go click in this little triangle here go to material options cast shadows on do the same thing to the background composition go to material options cast shadows on now I notice that you can't see any shadows here so that's because um, the shadows are in the same position uh, as the the text layer so we need to change that in this little blue circle 
here uh, click it press it and drag it down and we'll start to see the shadows I think it's good like this no, shadows are done so go to layer new camera to create a new camera layer new camera now press ok select the camera press P to bring the position setting and keyframe the position and in the first frame oh, sorry you need to choose the orbit camera tool and in the first frame we want the camera to be in the very left side of the wall and in the last frame you want the camera to be in the very right side of the wall like this and that's basically it it's done there's only one more thing we need to do because when the camera turn to the right side you see this black void right here and we're going to change that so the camera just going to change the position of the camera here a bit like this so select the background composition go to effect stylize motion tile and change the output width to 500 and the output height to 500 okay select the mirror edges and we're done simple as that it's really really basic it's fast and it's nice so thanks for watching hope this was helpful for you and see you next time